One second. I guess not. Um, I'm trying to put the meeting on Facebook. Wait, stop. Stay alive. Make sure it's on. Just one second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'd like to call the monthly meeting of the uh, Springbrook Homeowners Association to order. Uh, Madam Secretary, do we have a quorum? Yes, we have six members present and one on the phone. Okay. Uh, rules of civility are in effect. That includes we on the board and the people in the audience and on the phone. Uh, as usual, uh, you want to ask a question anytime during the meeting, just raise your hand and we will be recognized and we'll give you a chance to talk. Okay, uh, does anybody uh, out here in the audience have any comments or anything you'd like to make? I have one question. Okay. Um, I think Tom Folk was on a person and uh, so I went on an hour after Tammy and she's been working with the uh, Alliance and that when they switched over to the new website, we lost our resident director and the board even was not in the board director. So she got that credit right away and back and forth now they sent out an email that everybody has to sign up again. And I contended, wait a minute, we already signed up once, we didn't need to do that. So I just was wondering where we stood on that and when it's going to be published. I'm still confused on where you think everybody signed up. Everybody because that was in the registry signed up. But that's irrelevant. You sent out a text out or an email out, right, that people sign up? Yes. Okay, how do we stand on that or where do we stand on that? I haven't looked at it since you and I talked. It's about 40 people on there. Right? Yeah, so that's how I looked. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's getting there. 40. Well. People don't want their phone numbers or addresses published. And emails out there. I will say this much. I put mine in a couple weeks ago, and I think I was on this board again about an hour. I was getting emails and phone calls. So that must work. Okay, but uh, so maybe we, maybe we could send out another one saying you don't have to put your name or your phone number and email on there. If you don't, just put your name and address. Food for thought. Are they marked as requirements on that? They website? are marked. They, they automatically will upload that. What would be the that. point if you don't have your phone number or email? On yeah. You you have to have your email in there, and everything uploads automatically. You can't take and choose. Unfortunately. Okay, thank you. No problem. Anybody else? Question? Yes, Marilyn. Um, if they sign up on the email, it's only going to um, Stony Brook's website, right? Do people understand that? Oh, the email blast? Yeah, it's yeah. not. No, they, like our directory, if they're going in on it, maybe they don't understand. They think it's going to be public. But no, I know people that understand and they still don't want their. They just want, they don't want yeah, their. Yeah, no. we had that problem uh, many years ago when we tried to do a directory. The thing is, the only people that get on that website, like you're saying, you have to sign in as a resident. If you can't, you don't sign in, you're not going to get any access to stuff like that. That's right. Yeah, so I just secure that way. Okay. okay. I just saw if they didn't understand it. Anybody else? Well, one more comment on the website. Terry and I sat down. Did you, Terry, was yes. it? We sat down together a couple weeks back and went through the whole website with Dave, who was the oh, IT person, mm -hmm. and we made suggestions on things that we want to change, added, deleted, and he's working on that, and I'll look this week to see where we're at with it. As of right now, nothing's been done. Nothing. Okay. Tom, huh? that satisfy you, sir? We're good, thank you. No problem. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am. Diane Mockley, Night and Run. I just wanted to know the status of the playground. I thought it was still closed. Yes. We had kids on it today. Okay, there's a meeting. Uh, Lloyd, Tammy, and I are meeting with the people. And Elizabeth. And Elizabeth. Sorry, I forgot you That's here. Okay. But uh, we're meeting with them tomorrow. We're going to come up with a solution. Uh, I guess there was a little flaw in the design, but we'll get that straightened out. They were on the equipment, so I don't know if they were hurting the surface, but I, I didn't know it was open. And someone said, no, it's still closed, but there were kids, preteens. It's a tripping hazard in there now, actually. Yeah. So You don't watch what you're doing. But as long as we've warned them, that's all the best we can do. Uh, I would say it's, good. it's not going it's not gonna get fixed tomorrow, but it will get fixed once we come up with a solution for it. And when we fix it, I'll make sure we get it right and it's done. Well, like you said, I don't think it's well, a hazard for any of the equipment and stuff. It's just a tripping hazard, and we really don't want them on them in there. But it still looks nice. 
That's beautiful. Thank you, ladies. The playground. You did a good job. Okay. Moving on. Uh, well, this is actually the first sit-down meeting we've had at the board in several months. Uh, moving into phase two of COVID-19, it's, it's really had an effect on everything. Uh, this place looked like a ghost town during the day most of the time. You see some people out walking, and that was about it. Uh, it did give a lot of the residents an opportunity to uh, do things around their property, and uh, we got a little uh, relaxed on the way the rules go, so that's something we got to start readdressing, getting things going, uh, and here it gets back up to looking good, and I'll address that in a few more minutes. But I want to start out by uh, thanking two former board members for the service they've done. Terry's sitting here, uh, he's off the board this year, and he's still involved with uh, a few operations in here, but Terry is very dedicated to what he's been doing and has done an outstanding job with the board, and uh, we thank you for that. And the other member that did not run for re-election was uh, Rafael uh, Lopez, and uh, he is going to uh, be working with uh, one of the committees uh, as his time allows to, but he did a real good job working with the safety and security here, so we thank them for their service. Uh, very important. Uh, the last get-together we had was on the 1st of June on Zoom, and that was our annual meeting that was delayed from, I believe, February 18th. And so at that meeting, uh, the uh, results of the election for members of the board were uh, announced, and uh, Rick Bordurner on the phone, and Jim Drock and I were elected to the board. And at that meeting, uh, we elected officers, uh, there's four officers that are elected by the members of the board to operate for us. I was elected president. Lloyd was elected vice president. Tom will continue as our treasurer and Elizabeth the secretary. So those are the people there. And you can, uh, you know, anybody out there has a question or something that needs to be done, there's seven members of the board. We have two people out. It's nine people you can contact. Next door neighbor is not the contact to get things done. They call us we'll get it done for you. So let's keep that in mind, please. Oh, we have lines of communications open. We're more than happy to work with you. And uh, it makes for better living in a community like this with as many homes we have, we're trying to keep things looking good. Uh, Some of us don't follow next well, door. Well, that, that's what we're looking at. One of the biggest problems we've had during the pandemic with people home and doing things around their house, we've gotten away from following the rules for putting out yard waste. Yard waste cannot be put out until Sunday morning, which is 24 hours before the Monday pickup. We have people that uh, stack their yard waste on that nice cement thing where the inlet to the street is. Yeah, some of that gets down there, and we have flooding. Uh, garbage cans cannot be put out, according to the wildlife people, until Tuesday morning, which is the morning of the pickup, and they have to be back in 24 hours a day. Uh, you know, 36, 48 hours afterwards. Now we still got close to 30 garbage cans sitting out in various parts of the street. So we're asking people, let's get back the way it's supposed to be done. It keeps it looking neat. To drive down the streets during the week and see piles of brush sitting in front of the houses sort of takes away the ambience of what we have here. And if you look at the values of homes we have right now and where we're located compared to the 8,000 homes that are right up the east of us, this is the place people want to come in to live for the conveniences we have. So we keep our properties looking good. I think we'll uh, keep the values up, and we can all work together on that one. Uh, when we had a, a couple of meetings, uh, I'll say we had a meeting on the covenants that we had 100 people show up for, which uh, was very nice. That was a friendly meeting. There were some items that came up, and then we did the candidates night, and we had items come up with that. And three main items that people brought up at the meetings were, the first one is parking. At times, the parking lot out here looks like this place has got a party going, there's nobody in here. And we have rules on that that we'll readdress in the next couple of weeks with the safety committee and try and get that rectified. The next one, where people are complaining about the golf carts with the young drivers around here. We do have rules for that, and a lot of these carts are unregistered. We have roughly 150 carts registered, and we've 
has put that program into effect. We were told by somebody, I can't even 50 of them in here. Well, there's 150 that are registered. I'll bet you there's another 50 that aren't registered. So we're going to be looking at that because uh, Jamie and I walked out of here the other night and watched the golf cart go past with a 10 year old kid driving it that couldn't even reach the pedals. In the rain, we just following and in the car. Yeah, it's why told me. told us to mind our own business. <gasps> really? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to try and do that. And the third item that everybody's talking about is this building. It's too cotton pick and small. Oh, that's wrong. It's too small for uh, what we're trying to do here. Uh, a question was raised at the uh, annual meeting that why does Tammy have the big offices there and stuff? If you come into this building during the day, there's people in here doing things almost all day long. Things going on in the library. We're meeting in Tammy's office, there's a meeting table in there. There's no room left in here. And you know, a couple of years ago we talked about building a new building. Uh, didn't fly at the time, but reading some of the publications and stuff that pertain to Stero, a lot of the communities that are older like us are refurbishing their community centers to make this place more presentable to people. Uh, you know, we, we got short of the stick when uh, U.S. Homes built this place, so that's something we're going to look at. If it's on the horizon, it's four, at least five years away before you can put a shovel in the ground. But we have to figure a way of financing it and getting everybody on board to it and come up with the drawings of how it's going to look inside and out. But that's something that we're going to be working on over the next several years and uh, that's very important that people can do that. So that's what I've got to say there. Uh, now, we, we have the minutes from the last meeting. Do we have a motion to read or pass or what? I make a motion that we uh, do not read them and pass them. And do we have a second? I'll second. Jim second that, Harold. Okay. okay, any discussion? There's just one correction. Uh, rules of civility was in effect instead of is in effect. Okay. Any other? Seeing none, all in favor? Uh, hold on, what about the date? Should we end up changing it or leave it the way it was? Because the annual membership meeting was supposed to be May 19th. We need to leave it. Yeah, that was we need to leave it. Because okay. that's what we said. Yeah. Okay. Didn't mean Any other? I don't know. <laughs> all in favor of it? Accepting the minutes is presented and corrected. Motion. What is the motion? What is the motion? Uh, to accept the uh, minutes of the last meeting as corrected and published. And Lloyd uh, made the motion, Jim seconded it. And you have anything to add to that? <coughs> okay. Do you have anything to add to that? Okay. No, I'm good. Okay, all in favor of the motion to accept the minutes as corrected and published, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. That's seven favor, period. Okay, next is my president's report. Well, I talked a little bit about that. Uh, but I, so anyhow, we're going to be, we've got a lot on the table to do with this board and try and do it. I would say over the last three years, the board is undertaking a lot of uh, programs. Uh, one of the big ones right now, we're completed the work of the second year on a five-year uh, program to fix the storm sewers. I know we had some flooding, but the lakes are full, so hydraulic pressure and what's in the streets fight with each other. But we do have a few problems that we're looking into. We'll keep working on that one. The This building, the roof will be going up in, in July. After July 4th. July 4th, Mr. Chris said. Okay, uh, we also have painting exteriors of pool houses and this building on tap. We want to uh, get the striping on the streets done, but we have a problem there. The vendor that we had dealt with over the years has done a nice job with us. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, he sold his business and we had the guy do some work for us, and that, that was a disaster. So we're looking now to find a new person to work with on that. The parking lot's gonna to need to be sealed and striped, the streets need it. The uh, sidewalks. The sidewalks, the trip hazards, we're identifying those, we may get that done. So these are things we're doing to keep it going. 
in October we should be sweeping the streets again. And uh, well, and the gutters and that were done just before the pandemic on the streets. So those are normal things we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we've had a few problems pop up that uh, needed addressing. Uh, one of them involved uh, the CDD and us, and who was on first and who was on second. But we got that straightened out fairly quick, uh, and the people involved in that one are happy. So, like I said earlier, call us. We'll take care of it. Don't put someplace else. Okay, uh, Tom, your treasury report. Okay, for the treasurer's report, um, we did get the financials as of the end of May, and as of then. Um, the total cash we had was um, over 652000 Our income, the actual amount was 810000 and we had a budgeted um, 793000 so we're over budget there. Expenses, they actually were 774000 The budget was for 800000 So, again, we're under bud budget there. Um, so, financials, they do look good. But keep in mind, we still have um, seven more months to go, and the annual but, but the budget we just that we have is 1.9 mil so we are on track so even though we have positive cash flow and net income now there are expenses still to come in the next few months so it should hopefully balance out any questions I, I got a comment um, we're going to be getting a bill in from the most with the problems with the CCR. A um, month or so ago, Terry, Bill, and Tammy and I talked to him, and he suggested that number 10 was it that they were going to redo? The most was? I don't remember which number. Yeah, I think it was 10. Item 10. 10. Was it 10? Anyway, we had allotted some money for this, and we didn't use everything, so we want to make sure that uh, that charge goes into that. We've set aside for the CCRs. When you said it was set aside in, in the reserve? Or yes, in the reserve. Yeah, it's a separate item. Yeah, okay. it's a separate item. Any other comments on it? And the other thing I'd like to say uh, as far as budget, um, we're going to be working on the budget in August. If anybody has anything to put on the five-year plan for next year, let me know and then also start thinking about things we ought to be doing next year for the budget, so. Okay, thank you. Next is committee reports. Well, before we do committee reports, I'll, I'll point the committees. <laughs> And according to the covenants, I'm supposed to have this to your approval, so I'll make the, read off the appointments, I'll make a motion to accept them. Okay, first committee is buildings and grounds. Elizabeth Hansen will be the chairperson, and your night tip will be Jim Brock. You guys worked good on that a couple years ago. Activities, uh, Bellatine, chairperson still. Oh, he He's my turn, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the next one is safety and security. Uh, Jim Drock will be the chairperson, and we have a committee for that, which is made up of Ralph Lopez, who just left the board, he'll still work with us, Mike Gonzalez, and Paul Walsh, and I, I'm also on that committee at times. Communications, uh, Rich Bongiorno will be the uh, chairperson with uh, Terry Merrifield, Nancy Austin, and Joe Mike on that committee, and being president, I can serve on all the committees if they need me, so I, I've worked on that one before. The five-year budget planning, uh, it was Lloyd said will be the chairman. Committee members will be Tom Patricia, Rich Bongiorno, and Peter Austin. Compliance committee, which is the finance committee, is opening because Jim was on that, he can't serve on both of them. 
So Sharon Fistermaker is going to replace them. And she's from the condo group, so what we're trying to do is get a little bit more representation here. So Sharon's going to do that. And she's also going to wear another hat. Uh, one thing I've talked about doing off and on, I want to give this one a whirl, it's called the Stony Brook President Advisory Council. And Sharon's going to be the uh, chairperson. And what we're trying to do is get all the presidents from each one of the villa and condo associations and the CDD to sit down in a semicircle and clear the air on what they, people think we are doing to them, vice versa and who's responsible for what. I think we could settle some of the problems we have going uh, because if you live in a villa or a condo, you have your rules for your villa or your condo. Then you have the master rules for us. So there's a couple steps you have to follow when you're doing things. Sometimes it's not getting done and we have fur flying. So we're gonna try and see what we can do with that and keep it going. I think it's a, a worthwhile endeavor. Definitely, we all have to get on the same page because in, we have so many chiefs and not enough Indians. In the condos alone, there's 16 buildings, but there's two management companies. There's one for one and three and one for two and four. I don't even think they communicate. You know, so it's bad enough that you can't even communicate within the condo community. And then you're right. Um, there's people who assume now we have declarations. We, you know, it's a big stack. And if they come to me, and it's like, well, I didn't know that. And it's like, well, it's in the declarations. Well, I'm not reading all that. And it's like, well, then what do you want me to do? You know, so that's a problem. And then again, you have two streets of villas. You've got Icon for up at uh, Fort Rush, but you have Alliant for Night and Run. So, and then we have you guys. So, you know, we all have to get on the same page. Um, and, the, the uh, cams are just going to have to stand up and listen to me. <laughs> They're just going to have to admit that, that they need to do their job step by step because you're right. It starts with us. It starts with the, commun uh, the condo community and, and our representation, our management company. And then it goes step by step by step. And I know for a fact. Um, that that's not what's happening. And so if we all get on the same page, life's going to be a lot easier. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a work in progress. But it is. We'll see what happens with it. Okay, I'd like to make a motion that the board accepts the uh, appointments I've read. I'll make a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Okay, thank you folks. <coughs> Any, okay, Elizabeth, Stephanie. do you have anything from your old position, which is your new one? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, from the activities. Bingo's back starting tomorrow, once a month. Jewel was very excited to bring it back. Um, we're working on the July 4th parade. Hopefully it'll be a success this year since not much is going on. People are not going on vacation, so we're still working it out. Um, We'll do a blast on it, but hopefully July 4th at 9 a.m., rain date July 5th. It works out great because it's on a Saturday and the following day is a Sunday. Um, we also received a donation of a Wii by a generous resident. So if anybody's interested in starting a Wii Bowling League, um, if you can contact Dawn with your name and number and we'll reach out to you. Um, that's all. Oh, and then um, the library. Um, it's. We're basically a self-serve library, so if you bring some books back, please we shell them. It's easier to do one book than it is to do 20 or 50 books. Um, our times are kind of limited. Um, that's about it. And then the community, as Bill mentioned, it's looking great. Keep up the improvements. Get your art approvals. Um, I love seeing the homes being painted. It not only protects them, um, by sealing, you know, where the water goes in, the pests enter, but it makes the community look great. So that's about it. Thank you. Valentine. <coughs> I'm just not making a report. Oh, you don't? It's good. Do you have a different bike here? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned some, but uh, some of the things that are due this year, we have 10,000 in for exercise equipment. Um, 
You mentioned the uh, painting this clubhouse here, uh, the seal coat, the striping, uh, sidewalks, roof replacement. We also have 8,000 in for the Lancaster pool house. We ought to get some bids on that to replace the roof on that before it goes. And um, let's see. Fencing, just some other odds and ends. But that's that's the main thing right now. And like I said, if anybody has anything they want to add, let me know. There's a couple items I'm already going to put in. Uh, uh, two things tonight that's in the uh, Tammy's report is the problem over there with the drain on uh, uh, Pembroke. And uh, let's see, we have one other. What about the gate arm? The what? The gate arm? Oh, and the gate arm, yes. Uh, that was the other thing that's brought up. That was brought up before, and I put that in the 10 year plan to replace the controls at the gates. And uh, along with that, I mentioned to you once before, the signs are starting to look pretty shabby on the gates. The ones yes, that Lisa says that. To me. Yeah, the, the water is killing that one. Yeah, she had um, asked to go and take note. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, the other case, uh, all watered out, and the one on the other They're side. They're very faded. Yeah. And that's all I have. Okay. Jim, do you, do you have anything to bring up? No, not no at this plan? point. Now, do you have anything other than your treasury report? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of, well, not really new team members, but we've got some new people on the board. Try to hit the gravel with our feet running. Okay, Tammy, it's your turn. Okay. First item is uh, we had 28 ARCs uh, submitted and approved this month, which is good. All kinds of good stuff happening there and updating their homes. Uh, we had a total of 13 purchases and leases that were signed this last month. Next item, smart collections. A through D. Does anybody have any particular questions on any of these? This is just the status of where we're at. There's already in collections. Well, we, as part of this, we got seventy-five, some thousand five hundred forty-four dollars hanging on this. Uh, Which you know is pretty awesome, as far as I'm concerned, for collections, seven thousand dollars. Yeah. So we're moving forward on these, or? Yep, they are in process. Okay. And there are notes attached on each one where they're at. Next item, parking fines. <laughs> Due to everything that has happened, we have a total of 99 parking <laughs> fines, but that goes back to January that we need to have approved. One thing I noted, I went through these. Boy, there's a lot of repeats. Yes, sir. Uh, is, is there any way we can do anything to can we punish them more than just finding them somehow? Well, some of them are. There, there's one here that I, when I started, I found five on the first page right, at right. one address. You know, they're going to get hit for 25 for each one of them. What about taking away their barcodes? It has to be up to $500. They owe us. We can't take it away unless they are in arrears on that. That might be something you if they're want to work with your committee and uh, with the rovers on that and see if we can come up with a plan for that. And if they're paying it. Yeah, they pay the fines. You pay that much to park for morning in a big city. Yeah. Well, I'll make a motion to um, go ahead with these parking fines. Second. I have a couple of corrections. Go ahead. Yeah. Second. Get a second over the second. What is the second? That's the second. Yeah, that is three. Are you guys done, Marilyn? Yep, I got Okay, go ahead. Um, on page number two. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one and the fourth one is the same. If you look at it's the same date, it's twice. The same license plate. So. Could they have come back? I don't know. We'd have to look at the ticket, but it's just listed twice. Yeah, let them come in and argue. Okay. Discuss. No, I, I agree. There's something wrong there. And then. Because we don't do parking, two parking tickets in one day. So that's just a double print. And ninth one from the bottom, 
on the same page, the address is incorrect. So that Thank one, you. it's the other street at the same. Okay. 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 Well, we're talking about parking fines. There's some folks out here that don't want the parking stickers because it said Stony Brook on them. We have ones that just say parking permit now. Right. So if you come in the office and see Dawn, you can get one that doesn't identify where you're from. Okay, we have a motion and a second to accept the parking fines as corrected. All in favor, signify by, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Next item, uh, trash can fines. I kind of, we've talked about it and we feel a way to get their attention is to start doing the fines. Um, so they call the office and I review what the procedure is. Um, I found in the first week that I did it, there was week one. Then the second week I did it, there were no repeat offenders in the second. So they're listening which is good. For something like this, because I know um, I was going to, was anyone confused by the Memorial Day weekend? Or I'm just wondering if because it's normally the recyclables on Monday, pick up on Tuesday, but whenever there's like a- after Memorial Day. Oh, these were after Memorial Day? Okay. People are always confused on the holidays. That's why I'm just wondering This was after, this was okay. last week, like the last hour of the beyond. This was uh, after the 24-hour period had already expired. Okay. Which well, is a generous amount of time with your trash can. Along with the trash cans we're talking about, it, uh, back when uh, wildlife folks told us with the bear problem, we only put them out in the morning and waste management was going to start at 6.30 on Wyndham Run. They aren't anymore. They're starting for Sheridan Run and get down to Wyndham after. I know, and I called them and they're, they're ignoring me. No, they're they're starting uh, on Pembroke at six thirty. Yeah, they're coming in and going straight through. Mm -hmm. I've called them twice in the last month and. Uh, what happened? Make, make a note. Yeah, tomorrow we'll talk about Alcala County. I've got a number of the gal in charge of that. What about the bear trash cans that we started a long time ago? No, what? Hold your breath. <laughs> it was supposed to happen in October, and I was. Uh, I don't do well. Yeah, I know that. You but know that, that's what my face at the county told me told me that. Don't hold your breath. We didn't do it this year and just look good for the future. Because they have to come up with the money for it. Right now they haven't got the money for it. Uh, Collier County went out and did a portion of it and they could get some grant money for it, which they did here, but Yeah, there, there's grant money available. Yeah, for well it. they have other things where you get grant money for it, so that's what I'm saying. It's out there, I correspond with the uh, for every now and then. And, that's for us. So see if we can't get back on the schedule because, uh, you know, we tell people you have to put them out around 6.30 and they put them out and they show up at 4 in the afternoon. That doesn't make for good neighbors. Okay, Tammy. Do we need a motion to approve these yes, trash cans? These are $100 fines. Yeah, we do have a, we did have a motion on that. Okay, all in favor of assessing the fine for the trash can, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay. The next item is a thousand dollar fine for the soccer field violation. I'll make a motion that we move forward on a thousand dollar fine. I'll second that. This person has done this several times, he's been talked to. And you just don't give the message. Any other discussion besides we know this is habitual? Okay, we've got a motion on this and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of uh, oppo imposing a thousand dollar fine for the soccer fields, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And carried. Next item is the one for no ARC approval, five hundred dollar fine. Is that the normal fine for no ARC approval? I'm sorry, what? Is that the normal amount? It's the amount that the uh, uh, ARC came up with. You can go up to a thousand dollars. 
Any? What, sir? Pleasure at this one. I'll make a motion that we move forward with the fine. I'll second it. No, Valentine, the reason that we're doing this is because this particular person came in and kind of gloated that he did it before he got the approval. Uh, and it's like, dude. We aren't planning it for, for having a flagpole, which no. you're allowed to have, and you just follow procedures. You just didn't follow procedures. And I do want to point out to everybody, we are paying attention and we are going around the community looking for things that are not approved because uh, word out is go ahead, do what you want, and then apologize later. Mm -hmm. Well, your apology is going to cost you. Sharon? Um, yeah, I have a question. I don't know, I don't know the particulars that um, Tammy's talking about. But say a um, project was taken upon and did not get ARC approval. It's in the packet. You want to talk about it. I have that on my management report. To oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I'll we'll get to it. <laughs> I'll well, hold your thought. <laughs> okay, any other discussion on this one? Seeing none, all in favor of imposing the fine, signify, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Carried. Who is the second on that one? Bill. Uh, uh, Lloyd. I made oh. a motion. Lloyd, second. Oh, oh, I thought Either it was, I thought it was the opposite. No. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, last one is a thousand dollar fine for no ARC approval, and the paint color is not even in the book. Okay. I'll move to. Uh, how long? How long ago? The rules. How long ago was this? Because I thought that. That house has been that color for a while. It wasn't that long. It was within the last three months, maybe. Oh, it was. Okay. Okay. What's our favorite pleasure on this one? I'll move to impose the thousand dollar fine. Okay, Jim. Second. Mm -hmm. I'll second. Lloyd, second. Any, any. What do, we, do we have? What do we 